Hi guys. First of all, I just want to thank everyone that's helped me grow my channel. The last video I put out has almost 700 views. I know that doesn't seem like much compared to a lot of other creators, but it has been by far my highest audience on a video yet, and my subscriptions more than doubled what I had from before. You guys really came through for me, so again, I cannot thank you enough. My channel is relatively new, and I'm definitely getting started way later than everyone else did, so any help I get is very much appreciated. Now let's see if we can get this one to be bigger and better than the last one and continue to grow. But to do that, you know the deal. I need likes and subs. Please like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't cost you anything, but those two activities are worth more than gold to the channel and it truly does mean the world to me. Now that the pitiful begging is out of the way, let's talk about this video. The DMZ landscape has changed drastically since the release of Modern Warfare 3. Everything is PvP now, which I'm absolutely loving. People are pushing spawns harder than ever, while at the same time, camping more and more and in the oddest places. When the developers said they were gonna stop supporting DMZ, everyone was expecting hackers and cheaters to start running rampant but I haven't really seen any. One of the biggest things most recently is the ability for players to duplicate items in their backpacks. They could copy three plate vests, kill streaks, skeleton keys, large backpacks, pretty much anything they can hold in their bags. The developers recently removed the disguise from the game to stop the ability to duplicate things. This tells me the developers haven't just washed their hands of the game yet and leaves me hoping for a bright future. I don't expect anything soon, but I do hope the game moves forward. Heck. I absolutely loved the night mode back in Halloween. I didn't care about the Halloween stuff, but the game just felt so much different in the night sky. Back then I was hoping they would have kept the night version available as an option to play or maybe in a, like a, a revolving lobby like they were doing in Warzone. In this game, I spawned in by myself with two randoms. Yeah, I know, you never really know what you're going to get for teammates doing it this way, but most of the time it's not so bad. Teammates that are better than me push me to be a better player just by me trying to keep up with them. And when I get players that are worse than me, I find myself taking more chances than I normally would, which usually doesn't work out very well. But I think I learn and grow from it, so I'm okay with that too. I've also met a lot of new players, and we've become friends, and I play with them from time to time, so for me, doing it this way is mostly a win-win. In this case, I actually got a pretty decent team. They had a similar play style as I did, and they wanted to push teams. We had a small fight in the beginning that wasn't much fun to watch, so I pretty much pushed through it. But the second fight, however, was an absolute barn burner. In this fight, we actually started as a third party, meaning we started to engage a team that was already fighting another team. We didn't know it at the time, but we figured it out pretty quick, but by then we were already committed. I guess because this team was pinched between two teams, they were held up in a two-story house and had no choice but to camp. In their minds, I guess that was the only way they were going to survive. Once we engaged this team, the third team that was closer to the quarry stopped their attack and backed off. I figured they didn't want our smoke. Instead, they were just waiting for a more opportune time to get back into the fight, which of course meant at the absolute worst time for us. My two teammates both went down and left me fighting a camping team alone, not to mention the other looming team waiting and watching close by. You have to watch this entire fight. So much happened so fast, as usual, the ending was so unpredictable, even to the point that just when you thought it was over, it's like... Round 3. Fight! This one was a lot of fun. DMZ is by far the best shooter I've ever played. I really hope the developers pull their heads out of their... and continue to work on this. I'm over Call of Duty in general, but DMZ will keep me in their ecosystem for as long as they develop it. I meet more and more people every day that seem to feel the same way. How do you feel about it? Leave me a comment below and let me know if you're still enjoying it. I, I, lo I love hearing people's opinions. Anyway, enjoy my skirmish. Now, on to the comms. Yeah, let's get this in the way here. Yep. Okay. They're gonna be hunkering down right now. But they deserve to die. He's back, he's back coming. up. Two, two in the window. Come on, peek your head. I know you want to. Come on. Yeah, right there he is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to push that. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. 
Might as well. What did we, we have need to do? We need to wait to push until he downs another one then. That's fine, there's a sentry gun as well. Inside, oh yeah, shit. That's not good. Sorry, man, don't worry, you're gonna, I'll just you're gonna bleed out. Okay. Hola, amigos. <laughs> Told you you're gonna die, medic. There's two of them in the staircase on the top left side. I lost the third one. There's one in the bottom floor. Brown chicken, brown cow. What y'all doing hanging out here? Uh, they're avoiding the window. Do you spawn here, Mike? Found one on the staircase right below you, Blue. Oh, it's a player shooting at me right here. Oh, they're just stacked in the corner, camping on top of each other. <laughs> Imagine. They're up top on the second floor. They're literally in that corner, but up top. Copy. Like, literally on the green team. Yeah. Ultra squad mate is down. You are taking effective fire. I wish I... I wish I could wall fucking ha- I, God damn it, I can't get him through the wall. You guys are both down? Oh shit. Yeah, they're just hiding in corners and they're spawning. A weird way to put it. Ultra One, heads up. We're seeing a squad of operators near your position. There's two on my body. They're in my bag right now. They're getting sniped by another team. They're literally hiding in the closet. They haven't come out of the closet yet. Ultra One, be advised. Enemy operators are near your position. Medic, grab that. He's healing right now. That good. He's still on me right now. He's still on right now. You stop. They're literally Ultra right in the closet, device. right by my body. <laughs> He's shitting on him, dude. This is amazing. Wait, wait, wait. You're gonna push me. Yo, chill, bro. Fight the guys inside. There's two of them in there, and they're just hiding in corners. Yo, there's a rat. There's two rats inside, bro. Kill them. All right, you didn't listen. There's another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. He's looking out the window above me. Back in the closet. Where he belongs. Be advised, a squad of operators is near your location. Ah. Oh. Of course yeah, he wasn't really anyone near the wall. God damn it. He pushed away. Moving mm. in. Good there's shit, guys. Well, there's another team here. GG's. Pick me up. That way I can go in and kill these bitches inside this house. Thank you. I got you, homie.
downed them at least three times. They're hiding in the staircase. All three of them hiding in the staircase. Getting the res. On your feet, soldier. Not on my fucking wife. Damn it, I can't get away from him. I got one. I thought one left. Complete garbage. 